hi everyone in today's topic we are going to learn about how to get comments and replies of any post of instagram business or creators account and then we will see how to make uh, comments as well using these apis we will also learn that how to reply on any comment uh, hide or unhide any comments or disable enable comments on any of the post and we will also see how to delete any comments as well right so in short we are going to cover this page in today's session which is comment moderation and in that we are going to learn all of these endpoints so let's get started of course there is a limitation and which is like you should be owner of the media which means you cannot fetch other accounts comments uh, or replies with this api right so let's look at uh, the first two endpoint which are like to fetch comments and replies on the comments right so if we go to that page we can see here that it is using the media id of instagram and then the comment side right? so this is the endpoint our base url then media id and then comments so what it will return uh, it will return you the comment details with this comment id right and what is the use of this comment id is to fetch replies of particular comment so here uh, this replies endpoint is using this comment id to return all the replies of the particular comment right so this media id and comment id is important here and uh, the question now is how to fetch this media id and if you remember like in our third video we have seen like how to fetch any particular instagram business account or creator account details uh, and in in that session we fetched all of our accounts medias right and where we are getting this media id and if you want to brush up your knowledge you can watch the part 3 where uh, where we have covered this business discovery page right so instead of like uh, running this on like each and every media id what we are going to do is we are going to use this ages right if you remember we earlier talked about ages and nodes so on our media node uh, we will use this comments and reply ages to fetch all these comments replies with with our media output right and le let's see how to do that uh, if we visit this instagram media reference page you can see it is allowing to fetch the comment age right so let's see how to make it work uh, let's jump to the code so what we are trying to do is we are going to fetch all of the media details and comments and replies within single request right and for that the url is your business account user id and then media uh, which is your main endpoint url right and in that what you need to do is to pass the fields so if you remember in our business discovery tutorial we fetch all these details with these parameters so let's say thumbnail url media type media product type like count comment counts and so on but in that we haven't added this comments because this business discovery is not allowing to fetch all these comments of any business account right so instead of using that business discovery endpoint what we are going to do is we are going to use this media endpoint and this media endpoint is allowing us to fetch comments as well so here what we are going to do is together it with it we are going to fetch all these comments and in comments we have this many fields available and how to find that in this ig comments right in this ig command if you visit this 
endpoint which is ready and here you will get the details regarding the fields uh, what is the field name and description and these fields we are going to use to fetch so you can see here the comment id comment is from which user what is the comment what is the timestamp like count what is the media id replies parent id which means like what is your parent comment id whether comment is hidden or not who is the user who commented on our post what is that username right and uh, if you see here we are also allowed to use this reply age as well within this comment age and in replies what we are getting like who is replying to particular comment what is the timestamp like count and text right so it's kind of hierarchy of media and then comments and then replies right so let's see how it works let me import my token and app details here you can see uh, in fields we combine all of these variables that's why these are the business discovery parameters and then this comment and replies together with it right now let's use it here and fetch the details you can see here it is returning us all of the details regarding the media right as we mentioned here and you can see uh, the total comments is one like in last video we have uploaded the reel and in that uh, we received one comment and one like so for now uh, we are going to learn about this image because in this image i have already added some testing comments so this is our second post uh, let's go to this instagram account you can see the reel here and one post here so we are going to learn comments on this image only and if you see here uh, it is returning comments and within comments if we see here we provided id from text timestamp all this detail right and all these details are available now here id which is your comment id from who made this comment so let's go to our post let me refresh that here you can see in our post we have two comments right one is from this user and one is from our own user so the first comment is from the this username and that is this business account user id of this particular user and the text is this one you can see here this uh, here the account used this mountain emoji and it is returning like this here in jupyter notebook because we use this dump uh, but if we directly use this data you can see the emojis as well see right that is the text what is the timestamp like count uh, that comment doesn't have any like so that's why it's zero media id what is the media id of this particular comment which is this one it is hidden no it is visible that's why it's false and what is the username yeah so if you don't like to return this user and username again uh, you can drop that because we are already getting those details in this from parameter right and this one is our second comment right which is done by our account itself which is nice view and you can see here there is a one reply that i made uh, so that's why you can see here this is our main comment detail and then replies detail right and who replied on that uh, that our our own instagram account and what is the reply 
really it is yeah. and you can see here you can get this reply id as well and yeah timestamp as well so yeah and that's how you can get all of these comments and replies detail with this media itself so you don't have to go and find your media id separately and run two of these endpoints right Uh, let's get the media ID of that image uh, using this command so now it's time to add any new comment into our uh, post right so how to do that is using this media ID and comments if you go to IG media comments and creating you can see creating a comment on a object it is simply a post request on your media ID and comments endpoint having your message right there is no other requirements so here media ID comments and our message uh, let's add a comment that it's my first post right So when you run that it will return you the comment id yeah. and if you go to our post you can see our comment is available now right so add comments is working fine so let's fetch whether our new comment is available in this data and You can see here our comment it's my first post right so from here you can also the fetch the comment ID and if you add any comments it is also returning the same comment ID right so let's use that here in this example what we are going to do is we are going to make a reply on that particular comment right so how to do that is we have this reply sign point which is here and here we have a creating method which is replying to a comment what it is using same as comment but here we need to use the comment ID and the endpoint is of replies and we need just need to pass this message you can see here I have added emojis to see whether it's working or not and I also added this tag of user here as well but sometimes this tagging will not work the reason is in some of the users they are using this option right which is don't allow text from anyone so if you receive any error it means uh, user disabled this from that setting and you cannot tag those users but here for my user it's on so I can do that uh, what is the message I want to tag that user and adding a thanks message right so what this API is returning you is the reply ID so now let's go to the Instagram post here you can see now one reply is available and if we click on that you can see our user is tagged in this reply and our message is visible with our emoji as well right so it's working fine now let's jump to the next example which is about hide and unhide comments to hide and unhide comments we are going to use this reference page here in ig comment you can see updating method in which we have hiding and unhiding endpoint is available uh, how to do that is it is just a post request on your comment id 
and here you need to pass a parameter which is hide and in that parameter we just need to define whether we need to hide a comment or show the comment right for hide we need to use the true and false for the unhide right so let's see how to do that for that uh, we will choose this uh, comment from the user uh, which is this wow and if you go to our data here here is the id of that comment now let's use it here it will simply return a message that a success is true it means now comment is hidden so let's go back to the image page and refresh that you can now see the comment is now hidden now let's unhide that again with changing this query parameter which is false now you can see it's available it's taking few seconds uh, you can get that comment back yeah. now the next method is to uh, disable enable comments of your media suppose i want to uh, disable comment of this image i can do that for that what i need to do is get this media id of that image and uh, use this endpoint which is just a media id so let me get that documentation which is in ig media and if you go to this updating section it will show you that enable or disable comments on your ig media right here what we need to do is just pass the media id and we need to add a parameter named comment underscore enable and true and false value right you can see here so I'll, i already added this media id here and i, I want to have disable the comments so let's run that it is returning success is called to true let's refresh the page oh sorry I, I choose this true let me disable that yeah now you can see all comments are gone which means now no comments are allowed for this media let's turn on that again now you can see all comments are back and you can do a new comments as well right now the last topic is to delete any comments so how to do that is we have this ig comment documentation in which we have this deleting method which is using this delete request and on your comment id so let me grab a comment id that we recently posted uh, which is uh, this is my first post right copy this id it's returning true it means now comment is deleted let's refresh the page you can see now only two comments are available and the newer one that we posted uh, is deleted now right. so yeah that's all for the video what we have learned like to get comments and replies within this media object we also did a comment on our post we also did a reply and we also learned this hide disable and comment methods as well right thanks for watching